So Samsung recently unveiled One UI 6, which is based on Android 14. And with it came a new app called the Studio app, which you can use to edit your videos. Now this app is perfect for those that are starting out on YouTube or content creation, basically. If you don't have the resources to buy that expensive video editing software, you can get started straight on your phone. Don't waste time. So if you have a Samsung device, then this is for you. In this video, I'm going to teach you all the basics that you need to know. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do eventually end up liking the video, please hit the thumbs up button. It will really help out this video and the channel in whole. So let's get into it. It is this icon. Let me just click on it. Now uh, you can choose to edit your video um, in uh, portrait mode, or you can actually put it in landscape mode like this. I choose to work like this. So for you to start a new project, just click on start a new project. And uh, here you get, you have an option to choose the footage you want. I just want to choose this particular uh, footage here. And when you choose, you can actually choose videos or images. You just click done. And now it's importing the footage to the studio app. So this might take a while depending on the length of your video, right? All right, um, all right, so now it's loaded onto the studio app. This is the interface you get. Like I said, if you use uh, portrait mode, you see something like this. But uh, in my instance, I want to use it in landscape mode. Now, uh, let's just uh, check out the interface for a bit. Now, at the top here, if you just click on this, this is soundtracks. Now you are able to get royalty free music straight from the Samsung uh, database. Right now this one, when you click on it, uh, this will make your footage full screen. If you want to exit full screen mode, you just click on here, right? That's how you do that. And uh, here, uh, as you can see, you just click here, it starts playing the footage. Let me just, and you pause it. Now when you come here, there's this plus sign. This is when you want to add uh, maybe a blank clip or an image or another video. Uh, to your timeline. So let's escape that. Now at the bottom here where it says T, this is obviously for text. Right? If you want to add text to your footage, you can just click here. More on that later. All right. So let me just click to exit that. You can also add stickers, right? Uh, various types of stickers. You can go, even emojis. You can go choose emojis, stickers, just depending on uh, what you want to use, right? Is that option. And just click on it again to escape now uh if we come lastly here uh, this is when you want to let's say you've recorded your own audio and you want that audio to add that audio to your project right you can use that as well you just go back right uh and uh right here where there are three dots when you click on them this is a project settings it can uh, let you know let you know the aspect ratio you're working in in case you want to change the aspect ratio depending on the uh, sort of platform you want to deliver for right so i'm just going to leave it by 16 by 9 assuming this is a video that i would want to use on my youtube channel right so let's just go back right so this is the timeline right uh so for you to move on the timeline you can just click and hold and go to the particular uh sort of footage you want for instance uh let's just play this right let's say when this guy is talking um I'm not interested in seeing him. Let me just stop there. I just click and pause there. Now you see the options that are now here. Uh, for instance, there's this one uh, pointing to, to the right. What that means is that it will basically trim my footage, right? Every All of my footage on the left side will be trimmed. So let's just do that. Let's click on that. As you can see, all the footage on my left was trimmed. Now, if we move the player head again, let's say up to here, let's say we want to add a cut, right? So I'll just come here, just click on that, and I've already created a cut, right? I've created a cut. So now you see that where I've made the cut, there's this object right here. Let me just click on it. Now this implies a transition, right? Now there are uh, four transitions to choose from. You can actually five if you include none, which is just a basic cut. Now you can choose to uh, add a dissolve, a fade, a slide, and a wipe. Right. For instance, let's say I want to add a, a dissolve. I can just click dissolve. As you can see, the icon has changed to indicate a dissolve. For instance, let's say I, I don't want to just keep add, adding uh, transitions. 
I just click that. Uh, I, I want to use the same transition for every time that I cut my footage. I just click there and make sure that all is ticked. If you untick all, which means the transition only applied to that particular part of the, the clip. All right, so let me just click all. As you can see, uh, even right here, the transition. So even right here, the transition has changed to, to a dissolve. All right, now that we've added that, right, uh, let's just resume on the timeline there. If I click again here, as you can see, I can add a cut, right, uh, just like I, I, I showed you earlier. Let me just add an, another cut here. Or maybe come to this particular stage of the footage. If I want to trim from the right, I can just click trim and it's trimmed. And if I want to make sure that I delete a clip, I can just press on delete and it's deleted. There are additional features. Let me just come here, click here. Uh, and I want to work with this clip. Just click and highlight it. As you see, if I click and highlight uh, footage right here, there are options that come below here. Now the first option, uh, you use this one uh, to straighten your footage. Or if you want to rotate your footage, you can also do the same thing. Let, let me just click and hold. As you can see, if I drag it to the right, the footage has been rotated. I can also click and drag inside so that I can, um, what can I say, zoom into the footage as well. All right, so when I go when I go back and play the footage, uh, as you can see, if I get to this part of the clip, it should rotate. Here you see, the footage is rotated. I can actually view this view this full screen. So in case you want to uh, rotate, you can do that. As you can see, if you click on the next button, you see that we are actually able to fade in or fade out audio. You can also reduce the volume. For instance, let me just click and hold that and play which this only applies to the particular clip that I've highlighted. As you can see, the footage is playing and there's no uh, volume. I can also increase the volume, as you can see. Let me just go back to the clip, increase the, the volume. As I, if I play back, the volume has been added, right? If I come here, uh, if I come here, I can also increase the speed of the of the footage i can also make it make sure that it's slower which is uh, running at half the speed or i can even double the speed let me just put two times uh the speed and just play it back okay okay let me just go back to the footage again uh highlight let me just play it in full screen mode you see so if you want to create maybe those sort of effects you can actually do that let me just pause the footage right there now uh here let me just cut this footage again so that i work with this clip now there's the option you can also uh start color grading your footage as well there are different types of filters that you can use there's the original there's a warm cool uh lo low fi right no or lowly uh frosty different types of uh, filters that you can use. Now you can also reduce the intensity of the filter depending on what sort of a look you're going for. Now, if you come here with this icon here, these are additional features for color grading as well. Uh, you can actually change the brightness. You can increase or reduce the brightness. You can change the exposure, the contrast, all right? Change the contrast, the highlights, the shadows. It's just like your, how you'd edit footage in a proper editing software. Right, so that's how you you do that. Right, let's just go back. Like right now, uh, let's say I want to add text. I can just come here where it says T. Right, click on it uh, and type. Let me just say go cart. Okay, go cart. Right, go cart. Now let me just. I want to make this text yellow. So I just click here on the color and just come and maybe click on yellow there and click done as you can see the footage is now yellow so you just click this one uh if you want it uh, the text to have a background or you don't want it or you want it to have a stroke you can just click this t right you can also change the alignment as well uh clicking here right uh, okay let me just highlight the text as you can see once we added that text an object was created on the timeline you can click and drag to increase the du duration of the text as you can see let me just play that back you can see you can increase the duration of the text let me pause that you can also actually add even uh, emojis right emojis for example uh, i can just click 
this emoji, add it here, drag it to increase it, maybe place it there. You can do that. Uh, just like the text, you can also increase how long you want the emoji to be on the screen. Let me just play it back there. Play that back in full screen. As you can see, so that's how you can add uh, uh, text or even emojis to your footage on, on, on the timeline. Now you can also, especially if you have your own audio, you can actually add your own audio. You can just click on the audio. Let's say you're doing a voiceover, you can just click on that. Um, I've just added, as you can see, text. I've just added the audio on the timeline. Now, as usual, like I was saying, you can actually increase or decrease the length of the of the footage. This one is actually quite long. So let me just cut it. Sorry, let me just go back. Highlight. Let me just highlight there and cut it. And this one, I can just take it to the bin, right? Uh, once again, let me just highlight the footage. Uh, I want to cut it. Okay. So uh, this is the audio that I'm left with, right? So if you're using voiceovers, this is actually quite helpful. So you record your voiceover on your phone and you can actually edit to your footage, which is actually quite a handy feature. Um, now, assuming that you've finished your whole project, right? The next thing that's left, obviously, is to export it. So you can just click uh, done and it gives you the option to save movie, right? And if you come here to the corner here, uh, you can rename your project. Let me just call it Go Cart. And the project is renamed, right? If you want to keep on editing the video, you can just click on edit. Or if you want to delete it, you can just click delete. In my instance, I'm done. They say at this stage, you'll be happy with the project that you've done and you just want to uh, export it. When you click export, the project will get rendered. Right. So these are the basics of using the studio app. I hope I was actually able to show you a few things on how you can uh, get started with the studio app. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. That would be good uh, for the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you in the next video.